A ball is dropped from rest and reaches a final velocity of 7 meters per second. So what distance did it travel? And so we have here a reenactment of a ball that is going to be dropped from a balcony or say whatever, and it hits the ground, its final velocity, 7 meters per second. We need to find the, this, this distance right over here. How are we going to do that? Well, we know that the distance, we have taken a law that says the second law of motion is equal to d is equal to vi t plus half a t squared. And so you say, since the, the ball was dropped from rest, the initial velocity is zero. So you can remove this part. And so we have half a t squared. We don't know the time that this object has taken. And so in order to find the time, we remember that we have another rule that says VF equal VI plus AT. And so A times T, of course. And so what is the final velocity? That is 7. And the initial velocity is 0. Plus acceleration multiplied by time. And so we have acceleration times time is equal to 7. What is the acceleration? Acceleration due to gravity is 10. So we have 10 t is equal to 7. Now you can get an idea of how much time this object has taken to fall since time is equal to 7 over 10. So you can bring this right over here, okay, and put it over here. And so you have the distance that this object has moved is equal to 1 over 2 a, which is 10, t squared, which is 7 over 10 power 2. And that will bring you the distance that this ball has fallen.